Hey everybody, it's Mike Venus, and I'm back. And I want to show another way that you can make a, a key group. So this is an empty project, right? I have a plugin in track one and audio clip in, or audio track um, in track two. This is the general um, empty project setup, right? So we're going to go into the track plug in track and change the sound the quick way to get into there is holding down shift and pushing clip it'll take you straight to the to the um, page so what we're gonna do let's just go to intel and let's pick analog right and let me adjust the make some adjustments So let's just say we did that right. Cause I ain't gonna make this shit long. All right, then you go to menu and you go to sampler. Now you see this little, look like a little keys on the side. Press that, right? And this opens up the auto sampler, right? Now we're gonna obviously resample from Resample from the plugin. And I'm gonna set the note range. Let's go. Let's go B flat one. Let's go C five. Right. Now this extend min many to max notes. We're gonna say no because once it goes beyond, it, it's gonna get real chipmunky in the top end, and it's gonna sound like really stretched and low on the bottom. I'm gonna make a few adjustments to the note length, right? We're gonna make this a pad, right? And I want it to loop alternating. I want equal power, and we're gonna set it as a new track. And it's gonna take, like I said, less than a minute. So what the force is doing is sampling from its own internal sound. So there we go, we got a new track. All right? So let's go into there to do some editing. Now, globally, you can set how many polyphony or voices you want per key group, right? So I'm not gonna fool with that. Cause I don't do no big ones, right? And then it tells you the range of each sample, right? So we got the first range, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh, right? So this is kind of like in the middle, right? How where it was set on the keyboard, right? Now you could do it as note on, which this is what it is, meaning as long as you hold the pad down, it will play. Once you take your hands off, it will not. Kind of like if you was playing real keys. You can set it to one shot. Right, if you want it like that. But well, I'm gonna leave it back to note on. Um, you can layer up to four samples per key group, right, if you want. But what I like to do 
I like to come in here and make adjustments. So let's just stretch this out a little bit. Right. Now let's say, right. Now I can say I can reverse that. Right. You know, you can do more things to it, offset it, pitch it, whatever. Now, in this setup, in a key group, per key group. So in one key group, you can have multiple key groups, right? That's basically what's been demonstrated. But for each key group, you get one amp envelope, or yeah, you get one filter, right? And you get one pitch envelope, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna adjust the the attack, decay, and sustain, right? So let me change this to screen, right? And we're gonna adjust the attack. Cause I want this to be like a pad, so I'm gonna do like 85. We'll do about 85. I said for each key group you get so let's, let's let's see if we can do this right I'm gonna set it to solve you don't have to record no I'm gonna have to just right I'm right so for each key group you get one LFO so like on key group one, I got that, but let's say I'm set it to all. We gonna do, let's do sample and hold. Let's adjust that, so. Almost like a detuning, right? Then you can add portamental glide. So if you want to glide in something, you can set that, and then you have effects. You can put four effects per key group, right? Now, typically what I like to do, I like to just add the effects to the program. So let's add a reverb, because this is a pad. We want it to be lush, glorious. Let's add a delay, diffuse delay. Cloud, cloud Buster. All right. And let's add some type of modulation. What's the point bring here? Let's add a flanger. All right. And then let's add Let's make this really weird. Let's add green here.
So, yeah, that's how you make a key group. Um, like I said, this is amazing for sound design. So let's let's lay down something real quick. So I'm gonna go open up a clip. Let's do four bars, right? Because I want to show something else pertaining to this. Kind of kill two birds with one stone. So let's go to step sequencer and let's change this to oh, some dreamy. So we're gonna do F sharp. We're gonna set the size to a bar and we're gonna play it. Let's go half, half, because I don't want it to be too crazy. Right? And we're gonna go to lanes mode. And let's punch something in. Let's do six. double that right the way you double it you hold down the shift button and then next to under track three you see the word double just press it and it'll it'll double it up so we went from four bars to eight so what we're gonna do we're going to make each thing to the arranger and let's set this to we're gonna set it to eight bars we're gonna set the loop marker to eight bars and we're gonna record this in All right so hold down shift record to arm the the track and now we're gonna play it in Now, what you can do, and zoom in a little bit, you see the track, right? Press on the track. Now you get this menu. Copy track, advance, half speed, double it up, whatever. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bounce this to a sample. Right? to sample edit and that is the thing bounce we're gonna chop it up by four I know it was no, it was eight bars so we're gonna go eight All right and we're gonna convert now I have those samples right here. You know, I could do 
some editing on it. All in. Gotta change the key. So you guys. Freak it up some more. So let's put another reverb on it. This time we're gonna go same thing. We're gonna go with tag. This time we're gonna add. We're gonna add a scatter to it. Okay, I'm just going off into my own little world, but that's what I'm saying, like, and 12% CPU, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, sorry if this was long or I got slightly distracted, but that's how you can use resample and internal plugin. So we start out with this sound. made the key group we bounce it out to a sample right from the arranger and then create something totally different so with that hopefully you enjoy you learn something till next time mike out